This is the physiologic effects of mannitol. Mannitol works by increasing the osmotic pressure wherever it ends up. In the cerebral vasculature with an intact blood-brain barrier, this can lead to a reduction in cerebral edema and a decrease in intracranial pressure. In the interstitial space, mannitol can draw water from the cells, leading to an increase in extracellular fluid and an increase in plasma volume and plasma flow. This increased plasma volume can increase your blood pressure and increase cardiac output. It can also increase the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, which is a surrogate for your left atrial pressure. And in congestive heart failure, this can lead to pulmonary edema. This increased plasma volume can also cause hemodilution, which can decrease your hematocrit and your blood viscosity. Dilutional metabolic acidosis and hyponatremia can also result. A rapid bolus of mannitol has also been shown to transiently increase your intracranial pressure from that increase in blood pressure and cardiac output. Increased osmotic pressure in the kidney, specifically in the proximal tubule in the loop of Henle, can decrease your water reabsorption in the kidney. This, in addition to the increased renal blood flow, can lead to a diuretic effect. With that diuresis comes excretion of many of your electrolytes, and you can also have hypovolemia, which in a net effect can decrease your cardiac output and blood pressure.